do you know, as of 2015, 50% of Nigeria's population, with approximately 27 million Nigerians, suffers from mental illness. By 2018, this doubled to 30%, covering approximately 60 million Nigerians. Surprisingly, 60 million Nigerians is twice Ghana's approximate population. Imagine a whole country suffering from mental illness. Isn't that ridiculous? If the factors that cause the doubling of the number, economic downturn and hardship remain or increases. It means that by 2021, 60% of Nigeria's population will be suffering from mental illness, and that means more than half the nation. Do you know that for every 10 Nigerians, 3 suffer from mental illness? The painful part is that in Nigeria, our general perception is that the mentally sick can only be found on the streets or in the psychiatric hospital. These statistics have been proven with increasing rate of suicide, domestic violence, murder, divorce, alcohol and drug abuse. Unfortunately, only 4% of government on health budget is a mental illness. This has become one of the most neglected diseases in Nigeria. Most of the times, when this illness is diagnosed, only traditional and spiritual means of treatment is applied. There are so many symptoms associated with mental illness, such as hallucination, quick and constant mood swing, relationship problem, drug and alcohol abuse. There are different types of mental illness. Examples are depression, bipolar disorder, schizophrenia, anxiety disorder, etc. With these disheartening statistics, almost 90% of this population have no idea they are mentally ill due to the fact that it has become part of their lives and also because most Nigerians believe that the only type of mental illness is total insanity. The number of therapists in Nigeria is limited, notwithstanding the increase in the population of mentally disordered people in Nigeria. In 2014, there were only 100 registered psychiatrists in Nigeria. Currently, it increased by 150, making it 250 psychiatrists. Using the population of Nigeria, we have one psychiatrist to 800,000 people. And using the population of the mentally ill, we have one psychiatrist to 240,000 people. Looking at this, in the next 10 years, we may not have sufficient professionals to tackle this problem. Also, if the population continues to increase, our psychiatrists may not be able to match up with this number. So, we have leveraged on artificial intelligence to solve this problem through the use of chatbots to provide immediate counseling to users. Other solutions our app has provided are creating awareness for users, keeping daily diary. We also have the counseling, which has been divided into immediate counseling and booking a counselor. Our app gets solutions to those who need them most quickly and effectively. Seeing the shortages in trained mental health professionals, hospitals and clinics, efficient medication and evidence-based interventions, we have developed Psychicare, which is an innovative solution to address this current gap in receiving treatment for mental illness. Recently, a family of five were found by a youth couple, Ms. Progress Obiaki, on the road. She posted a picture of this family on her Facebook page and wrote about it, drawing the attention of government agencies to the matter. The government agencies pleaded with psychiatric hospitals in Cross River to do something about it. After the family were taken into rehabilitation, it was discovered that wife and children were not mad but suffering from shared delusion syndrome because of husband's problem. There are so many other cases like this around Nigeria, but with the help of the future in our app, report case. You can easily and efficiently report the case of mental illness nearest to you directly to psychiatric hospital. Our milestones are to integrate a chat room to tackle stigmatization of mental ill patients who are recovering. Considering the fact that most people use smartphones, by the end of 2021, we hope to increase the level of awareness from 10% to 40% and to reduce the rate of mental illness by 10%. Psych care, no health without mental health.